begin with breaking news at noon. Authorities in New York City are investigating another suspicious package found this morning, this time outside actor Robert De Niro's restaurant in Lower Manhattan. The possible bomb found overnight, and just this morning, two devices were found in Delaware, addressed to former Vice President Joe Biden. Sources say all the devices are similar in nature with those discovered yesterday. CBS 4's Hillary Lane is live in Lower Manhattan with the latest. Hillary. Lauren and Maribel, the package that was sent to Robert De Niro was addressed to his production company. It's right here behind me. This is the first actor to receive a package. He's been outspoken about President Trump. In the meantime, the FBI continues their investigation, trying to figure out who is sending these packages and why. New York City's bomb squad transported a suspicious package this morning that was addressed to actor Robert De Niro at his production company in Lower Manhattan. Authorities say two devices were also intercepted in Delaware before they could reach former Vice President Joe Biden. Sources say the packages are similar to other devices found in four states in Washington, D.C. At least three contained pipe bombs. Most were sent to high-profile Democrats, including former President Barack Obama and former presidential candidate Hillary Clinton. Late last night, law enforcement uncovered another package at a postal facility in Los Angeles, one of two addressed to Democratic Congresswoman Maxine Waters. We could have been blown at everybody over in here. New York City officials are asking people to be vigilant. They say it's very likely more explosive devices will surface before a suspect is caught. A bomb was also mailed to CNN's New York headquarters, prompting a massive evacuation. It is scary that we don't know exactly where these packages are coming from. At a campaign style rally last night in Wisconsin, President Trump called for unity and blamed the media for the angry discourse. White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders doubled down this morning. Day in, day out, there is a negative tone. 90% of the media attention around this president is negative. The Trump administration is promising an aggressive investigation. At least four of the packages were sent in manila envelopes with six American flag forever stamps. They'll now be analyzed at the FBI laboratory in Quantico, Virginia. The package sent to De Niro has been taken by police to a secure facility in the Bronx. In the meantime, sources tell us the United States Postal Service is being even more vigilant with every single package, screening it to make sure there is nothing dangerous inside. In Lower Manhattan, Hillary Lane. Lauren, back over to you. Hillary, thank you. And here's a detailed look at where all of these suspicious packages were sent. It shows who they were sent to and where. Once again, as of this morning, a total of 10 devices have been found. A package for former Attorney General Eric Holder bounced back to Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz's office in Sunrise.